welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, aka Homie Lander, and this video we're answering some of the big questions you may have about the boys. Since posting my finale breakdown, I've had numerous comments asking the same things, so I thought I'd put them all together in one video just to go over absolutely everything. Now this includes whether Stormfront is alive or dead, what she said at the end, whether Vic can actually kill Homelander, and a lot more. There will be heavy spoilers here, but I tell you what mate, if you clicked on a bloody video about the ending of The Boys on a channel called Heavy Spoilers, you can do one as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, yeah, make sure make sure you like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe as, let's face it, it wouldn't be the worst thing that you've done. Anyway, with that out of the way, thank you for clicking this, now let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you probably want to know is, can Victoria kill Homelander? I know that because it's the thumbnail of the video and also because I watch you as you sleep. Now, it's a pretty significant question and one that a lot of people still wonder about especially because they will likely be facing off against each other at some point. I've gone through both seasons in a big rewatch since the second one ended and I think the first season especially drops several clues that lean towards her being able to. Now firstly, Translucent is a big indicator of how the fight would go. In season 1 we learn that he has invulnerable skin and cannot really be damaged from the outside. However, the boys shove a bomb up his butt and well, the writing is on the wall about that one along with the rest of him. In addition to this, Stormfront is stabbed in the finale through the eyes by Becca and this severely damages her too, even though we know that she's pretty much invincible as well. So from this we can take that when it comes to soups, things like organs and parts not protected by the skin are actually very vulnerable. If you can get to them from the inside, then you can beat them and this was also demonstrated by Black Noir after he swallowed a pine nut. What nut? These nuts! Now as for Vic's powers, I can't show the clips of her bursting heads because YouTube will demonetize the video, but if you slow the footage down on her attacks, you can see that they explode outwardly and not inwardly, making me think that she bursts heads open from the inside. Thus, I would say that there's a pretty strong chance she can kill Homelander, much in the same way that she did Shockwave, who too should also be invulnerable. Now when Homelander arrives at her rally, she doesn't take her eyes off him and at the courtroom, she's pretty much always looking at someone just before they die. Thus, I would say that there's a pretty strong chance she can kill Homelander, but you know what, deep down, I hope he just lasers her before she gets the chance to. Now I've seen a lot of back and forth over whether Vic is working with Vought or not, but after a second watch through, it becomes clear that she is. Is that a, is that a question? Do we, do we need to put this in a, in a question some way? Is, is Vic with Vought? Yes, she is. Now firstly, she kills Raina to cover up the awareness that there's a coup from the inside. In the van, Huey and Frenchie ask who can explode heads like that, and we then cut immediately to her in Edgar's office. Edgar is watching her on a rival news network instead of VNN, and she also pretty much prepares Lamplighter's speech to help implicate Stormfront rather than the company. I told you Stormfront gave the orders, I just executed them. It was, um, it wasn't easy. She also likely calls together the entire hearing in order to draw people out that will betray Vought. Vic kills Adana after it's discovered that he has sensitive information on the Seven, which could destroy the company if leaked to the public. In addition to this, we just have to look at the source material to see that she is indeed Vought and paid for. Yes, I know I used that joke on another video. I don't care. Though she isn't really anything like her comic book counterpart, he too was a political figure that Vought used to get into the White House so that they could have their products bypass laws. It seems like they're going the same way with Vic and it's such a good twist that I didn't see coming at all. Now those are the main clues and her goal the entire time is to pretty much raise the super terrorist threat so that V is released to the public. As Edgar tells Butcher, this will raise the stocks at Vought and make the company so rich they can probably buy Amazon. As she tells Butcher, he's done more in regards to stopping Vought than she has and this is true because she's basically done F all. I think this is why they don't mind losing Stormfront in the end as she was pretty much just a tool to help fuel public hate and get things to a certain point. Beyond that, it's all politics and speaking of Stormfront, the character did say some stuff in German for her final words on screen and these translated to, it was so beautiful, how the three of us sat there in the shade of the apple tree. 
Do you remember that day, Frederick? Chloe's arms out the car window. We found the perfect spot by the river in the shade of an apple tree. It was the first time Chloe ate fresh apples. It was so happy. It was wonderful. I never wanted it to end. Now this is obviously referring not only to her daughter Chloe, but also her husband Frederick Vought. Because she's speaking in German, this is likely before the trio moved to America. There's some irony here as, at the time, the German forces were separating Jewish families in concentration camps and both Stormfront and her husband were complicit in mass genocide. This memory is reminding us that though Stormfront seemed like a great person on the surface, she's actually just the worst. Yeah, I'm talking about how I felt about her in episode 1, yeah, not, not, not episode 5 or whatever. Now they do say that when you die, your life flashes before your eyes and it is likely that Stormfront is just retreating to a happier memory before she passes away. But is she dead? Can, can, we, can we get some text on screen for that? And also for the, the German final words, like something like, what did she say in German? But, but, but put it earlier in the video, obviously. And never mind, look. Homelander does state that she has been neutralized and is being held in an undisclosed location. So she could indeed be alive and kicking if the creative team need to bring her back. However, what Vought tend to do in the comics when one of the characters die is that they cover this up and sort of create a PR stunt. Here they state that the hero died saving the world or something and this is solely done so that the characters seem invincible and it's also possible that they put that in place here so that the general public doesn't get any idea of revolting. Now personally, I do think that she's still alive and we did see from the boob scene that she can heal from burns so I do expect her back at some point. We also know that the character Gecko is able to regenerate limbs, so should she need to stop being so bloody armless, there is a way to make her a threat once more. The first episode of season 3 is actually titled Payback and this could hint towards what is going to be happening. In the comics, Stormfront was actually part of a group called Payback and they were pretty much a parody of the Avengers. Now the name Payback could also hint at what's going to happen in the entry. Obviously the Supes will want revenge for what happened in the series. So this payback could also be literal. We do know that Soldier Boy is going to feature heavily in Season 3 as well, and as he was one of the main members there, there could be a big reunion with him in Stormfront. That's all just a theory for the moment though, and lastly, a lot of people want to know whether Black Noir is alive. D don't bother with that, a question on screen for that. No, yeah, yes he is. And though he's unresponsive in a hospital bed, that doesn't mean he's not there. Black Noir is pretty much the strong and silent type anyway, so him not talking doesn't really mean that much. Now not to spoil too much of the comics, but Noir is integral to certain parts of the ending, and though I do think that they're diverting from this heavily, he will still likely be around for the ending. He's also probably one of my favourite characters in the show, so yeah, don't, don't write the guy out just yet, yeah? He's a bloody top-notch bloke. He's got a heart of gold, and if you only got to know the guy, You'd see why I love him as much as my own flesh and blood. Anyway, obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you have any other questions, then make sure you drop them below. If you enjoyed this video, then please click the thumbs up button and not the thumbs down one, yeah? And make sure you check out our breakdown of 52 insane details that we noticed in Season 2 of The Boys. Don't forget we're also giving away 3 copies of the Marvel Phase 1 box set and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on and drop a comment below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 30th of October so make sure you get involved. If you want to support the channel and get to see content early then please consider clicking the join button below. You can also come chat to us on our discord server linked in the description or heavy spoilers on twitter. Thanks for making it until the end of the video, you've been the best, I've been Paul and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.